Hello there. Now today we're going to take a look at this component tester. Now the model number is LCR-TC1 and according to the Amazon listing it's branded Dollar Tech. It can be used for testing transistors, capacitors, resistors, diodes, triodes and various other components according to the listing. So we'll get it out of the bag and see what we've got. Okay, so it arrives in this anti-static bag. You've got a label on the top there, with the model number and the QR code for the user guide. And on the rear, we've just got a barcode with Dollar Tech 1.8 inch colourful display and I would imagine that was pocket. Made in China. So, let's get him out. So we've got a little bag there with some probes, a charging cable and a couple of components by the look of it for testing, just for example, and three pins which I assume are to replace the ones on the end of the cables should they become broken. So we'll have a look at that in a second. So that's the unit itself, and charging port on the bottom, I would imagine that will be the charging indicator, and you've got your, your port for testing, your start key and of course your display, give it a press, and that's what the display looks like. Okay, let's have a look at these other bits. So, there's our charging cable. We've got three little clip-on probes. I think what we'll do with these in a minute, I'm gonna I'm gonna add some heat shrink to these to keep them together. Something like that. And then you've got your three pins which I assume are for replacing these should they break. And then included is a couple of components for testing purposes, just as a demonstration I take it. So let's get the unit and have a little look at how it performs. Right, so the first thing I'm going to test is the capacitor that came with it. It's a 10 microfarad 25 volt. So all we need to do is pop it into two of the test points, move the lever over so it clamps it, press start, and it's identified as a capacitor 10.81 microfarad with an ESR of 2.5 ohms. Okay, so now we'll test this little LED that came with it. Again, just pop it in, a leg in each test point. Move the lever over to clamp it. Press start. And you'll notice it flashed a few times. Been identified as a diode. Shows you the polarity and UF equals 1.90 so that's them got another capacitor here that I've had lying around this is a 120 50 volts let's test that let's put it in 
Now like that, press start. It's a capacitor, one one three point four micro Farad with an ESR of 0.43 ohms, and it was in fact a one twenty. Okay, so I've just found this transistor in my little spares box. It looks as though it is a used one. I haven't a clue what it is, to be fair. So we'll test that. We'll stick it in. The machine like that, a leg in each one, one, two, three, close the lever, press the start, and it's a PMP transistor. It's identified the base collector and emitter, base is on pin three, collector is on pin two, and emitter is on pin one. So that's that one. I've got another one here. I can't read it, but anyway, we'll try it. This is a new one. And that appears to be one of that. This is one of these replacements by the look of it that I must have ordered for a job. More or less the same config. Well, it is the same configuration. So that's the transistor testing. Um, we can also test diodes. Now I think from my days of repairing TVs, this is probably going to be a Zena. So pop that in. Clamp it. Yeah, was in a diode UF 3.88 volts. So that's that. What else have we got? Got another diode here. Um, what is it? I can't read it without my glass. But we'll pop it in and see. Yeah, diode. Um, identified the polarity. Now I've got another capacitor here, but as the legs are too short to go in to the test points, so that's where your leads come in for that. So you would just clamp two of them. On like that and then put the two that you've used into two of the test points press start and it's a 93.11 microfarad with an ESR of 0.35 ohms so that's what the leads are intended for now you'll notice that I've put some heat shrink on there that I'm going to shrink down to keep these together um, because uh, otherwise they're just going to get separated and knotted up more than likely. Now I've got a couple of resistors here to test. This one should be 33k We'll pop it in like that. Press start. 31.68 kilo ohms. That's that one. Now the other one, as you can see, I've never got it in the test points on the machine. So we'll use the leads. So we'll hook it on like that and I have shrunk that heat shrink down now to keep the leads in order so we'll just pop red and black into the there press test 
and 10.3 ohms and it's 10 watt 10 ohms so that's that now the other thing this will do is test remote controls there's a little IR sensor there so if we point a remote at it wait a minute let it start it up again give it a minute there we go point this at it you'll see that the is a little LED indicator there flashing and it gives us the codes here they should change depending on what button I've pressed how you can put that to use at this point I'm not sure but that's the remote tester anyway or IR tester Anyway, that's about all I can tell you about it really at this point. I hope it's been of some use to you. Many thanks for watching and hope to catch you in the next one.